I actually don't know why I'm making this video. I don't know if it's like a form of therapy. I feel like, well, I feel like part of it's because I want to show you guys that my life isn't always rainbows and butterflies. I mean, I feel like when you come to my channel, I'm always very happy. I'm very upbeat. I feel like I'm pretty energetic. And that is mostly, it's not like I'm putting it on. It's not like that's fake. Like I really, I love my YouTube channel. I love what I do. Honestly, thank goodness for it because it, it truly brings joy to my life. Um, but I'm not one to usually like turn on the camera and tell you guys everything that I'm struggling, struggling with. And I guess I just feel like I'm, I'm just really struggling right now. And I have been for quite some time and I don't really ever talk about it. And it's, to, I feel like a lot of people that are even watching this when like, you're probably like, some of you might know what it is and then other people have no idea and you're like waiting for it to be this like catastrophic thing. And I'm sure a lot of you, when you actually hear what it is, you'll be like, that's not that big of a deal, Shay. Um, and I totally understand that things could be a thousand times worse. And I think about that all the time. However, I do think this affects me a lot more than people realize it does. And I really kind of like put on airs that everything really is okay and it's not. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna tell you kind of a quick overview and backstory, obviously tell you what I'm kind of dealing with and then how it's affected me and then my current issue because like I guess what spurred this whole video is just like here I am again dealing with something again, it's very specific and you know, just how it affects everything. So um, I, okay, so this just goes back to nine years ago when I got pregnant with Paxton, my first kid. I have two boys. Um, life was great. Uh, and, and I just want to say like my life, that's a thing. And I'll get into this. Like my life really is good. Like, oh my goodness. Like I am so thankful for things, <sighs> but everyone struggles with things. Everyone struggles with things. And I just wanted to, you know, as they say, like I guess kind of share because there's probably other people that maybe deal with this and just to make you not feel alone, even if, if your issue has nothing to do with this, at least we can kind of struggle together. Nine years ago, I was pregnant. I guess at this point of 10 years ago, I was pregnant and everything was great. Had a super easy pregnancy. I mean like super easy preg I was, I'm the one that was like, gee, should I like do like surrogacy? Should I just like get paid to be pregnant? Like literally the easiest thing ever, even giving birth, like not to like toot my own horn, but like I didn't even have both pregnancies. I, I gave birth naturally, no pain medication. I'm not saying it was fun, but I'm not gonna lie, there's other things in my life that have happened to me that I thought was way worse than childbirth. And and I, again, no no drugs, no epidural, nothing. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that or you know, like I'm better than you, no. I'm just telling you that pregnancy was like, a, it was easy. It was just everything after. So again, I didn't even get like postpartum dep depression, like that really wasn't my thing either. Um, my issue was uh, about six weeks after I gave birth to Paxton, I went to the dentist. So here you go, has to do with my teeth. Um, I went to the dentist for just a regular checkup. I mean, I was one of the, I'm, I go to the dentist every six months. Like this was, it was not like, oh, I haven't been there in years. I, I would go very, very regularly. It was just like a nor, I didn't even think anything of it. Uh, so I went there and they took an x-ray because I hadn't been there in like nine months at that. But like I did kind of wait a little bit just because I was pregnant and I knew that I couldn't get x-rays while I was pregnant. So anyway, it had been probably nine months rather than the six months. Uh, so they took x-rays and she just like looked at the screen like super perplexed. And she was like, you have cavities all through your teeth and they're very bad. Like they're deep, deep, deep cavities. And I like saw them on the screen myself. Like I, I, I knew that like, this wasn't like one of those dentists that was just like trying to like make some money. Like I could visibly see them on the screen, the dark shadows very deep in my teeth. Then I like looked in my mouth. You could see them all in my, I don't even know how I didn't notice them. I was just, it was one of the worst days of my life to be honest, just because I knew, I don't know. Maybe it was just foreshadowing of like how bad everything was gonna go from there. We started a treatment plan. I had them all filled and it just spiraled so fast. And all of this was happening while I'm having like this newborn baby. And obviously my emotions were probably a little bit weird just because of the hormones and all of that. I, again, I don't think I was like in a depression or anything, but it was just hard. It was, I wasn't sleeping well. 
everything was new, lifestyle completely different with a new baby, and then I'm dealing with all of these teeth issues. So obviously she fills them all. Um, I immediately start to have issues. I start to need root canals. I start, the root canals start to fail. Uh, then then it, a whole, like a year later, you know, as I'm going through everything, I start to have this like weird lymph node issue down my entire neck. And by the way, I had to have, I had 16 cavities. Did I even say that? I had 16 cavities. I needed to have nine root canals. Um, on this side of my jaw, I had a lot of root canals and down my neck, it was like very, very swollen. I went on for probably six months to eight months of just going to all these doctors, having scans, tests done, blood work. No one could figure out what it was. Like it, they were ruling out lymphoma. Like there was all this stuff. And I'm like, there's, there is an issue. Like I'm a thousand percent positive. There is an issue. And I think it's my teeth. Everyone said, it's not your teeth because my teeth didn't hurt, but I just thought it was my teeth. And so sure enough, I just made the decision. I made the executive decision later. I'm just gonna have my teeth pulled like my, the root canals pulled on that side. Uh, sure enough, once they're pulled, I start healing. I lo no longer have this issue. So it was a thousand percent my, my root canals. And I know I also want to just preface with, if you could just not go, I mean, definitely comment down below, but at the same time, I'm scared of the comments just because I have so many issues with teeth and I know that teeth affect your entire body. I do go to a holistic dentist. She also is kind of like a regular dentist, but she does completely understand that your teeth are connected to your entire body. Um, so anyway, just try to refrain from like the, the terrible comments just that will like freak me out because I know how bad root canals are or can be. I know how bad teeth issues can be. So anyway, that happened. I kind of got over that, but through it all, I'm still needing even more root canals. I'm needing extractions. I, it, like literally it just went on and on and on. And uh, yeah, I've had a dental implants. That's a whole process for all of you that, or maybe some of you don't know, but dental implants are like, they take like a year long because you have to have a tooth pulled that has to heal. Then you have to actually sometimes get a bone graft or a sinus lift. I had to do a crazy bone graft on this side where they actually like etched out my jaw bone to get new jaw bone to put in that to like give me enough bone structure for the implant. Like I'm telling you, so much has been done to my mouth and I've never really gone into the details. So that happened uh, and it's just, it's, it's just up until this point, it's been so much. It's literally for nine years, never stopped. It's never stopped. I can never eat well. I can never, anytime I put food in my mouth, I literally get a wave of anxiety and I'm not even somebody that really gets anxiety or stressed out. Like literally, I don't care about anything. Like all these nice things, I, I'm i interested, I like it. Do I really, really care about it all? No, I care about my family. I care about my health. I care about my kids' health, happiness. And like health is like a big thing. Like if you don't have your health and happiness, like you literally have nothing. So I, yeah, every, every time I eat, like I can't even eat, first of all. Like, I mean, I can, but I don't eat well at all. Like I, I eat very, very soft foods. Um, I, I, I never, eating a pretzel, are you kidding me? I could never eat a pretzel or nuts or carrots or raw vegetables. Like I can't do that. It, it, there's just so many issues happening in my mouth. I have a cracked tooth in the front. I have, you know, a root canal that I'm pretty sure is failing right now. And that's kind of the issue that I'm really dealing with right now. I, you know, recently had to have a, uh, it was kind of a deep filling replaced because obviously that it was come, come, coming loose, I guess. So they replaced it and then it just spiraled into, you know, sensitivity and it just, lo and behold, I need a root canal. Um, so then the root canal is failing and, and, and I'm just dealing with that right now. And it's just really hard. It's just so hard because, you know, I know teeth are kind of a thing where, you know, there's cancer, there's diseases, there's so many things out there that, you know, are a lot worse. It's just like teeth, I don't know. I feel like people that don't struggle with teeth issues just don't understand, but like it's really hard too because you need your teeth to eat. Like I don't even, I don't even mean like vanity wise. 
I just mean like, I just want nourishment, you know, like I just want like healthy food and it's really hard for me to do that. So every time I eat, I'm affected by it because I can't. And then, and this is going to get into like something totally different. And this is what I mean. Like I'm just word vomiting out here. I, I honestly, and you, and a lot of you guys, I'm sure are not going to believe me when I say this, but the negative comments that I get, and I honestly don't even get that many, but like the hate comments, the negative comments, it comes with the territory. I swear to you, it does not bother me. Like I, I know even like the haters out there right now, they're like, she's just saying that, but like, I'm telling you, they really don't bother me. Uh, but sometimes I get comments where people are saying, you are just so skinny, Shay. Like you need to put on some weight. Oh my goodness. Like how much weight has Shay lost? And like, I, I see those comments here and there and they don't really bother me to be honest, because I, I honestly don't think I look that bad. Like I, I think that my body is like totally fine. Um, I, I'm obviously on the skinny side, but I've kind of always been on the skinny side. I definitely get it from my dad's side of the family, that, that entire side of the family. If I'm being totally honest, they can eat whatever they want. They are just on the thin side and that's just the way it is. Um, so I've always been on the thin side. However, I probably have, I would say in the last five years, I probably do weigh like five pounds less than I did before all of my issues. Um, just because as the years have gone on and my teeth issues have gotten worse, it's just hard for me to eat. The comments, it's just, I don't know, people just don't understand that, you know, that comments like that, people, they just don't understand that it's, it's like, I can't eat, you know, like I'm not trying to be super skinny. And it's just another thing you just shouldn't co comment on people's weight, like big or small, you know, you just don't know what's really happening with the person. So I, I love food. I definitely do eat food. I try to make a very conscious effort to eat healthy, but at the same time, I really would be even healthier if I could actually chew my food well. I absolutely know that my life, like gen like my life is so good. Like I, I realize that and it's just so interesting that even if your life is so good, you can still just struggle with things so much. Like on paper, like financially we are doing so well, like everything's like wonderful. Like Josh gets to work with me. Like I'm just so thankful. My kids are so happy and healthy. Like genuinely every night I thank God that like my kids are just so, they are really happy kids. They're very happy and they're healthy. And I'm so thankful for that. And we have a nice house. We have nice things. My cat is looking at me right now. She's a lovely cat. Uh, like I just feel like all of the boxes are checked, you know, they're all checked. And I just wish that, I just wish that this one area I could just get over it and I could just, and, and, and the thing is, I probably sh just need to understand that like everyone, everyone struggles with something, everyone. And it, it could be like, you have a back issue, you have, you know, Crohn's disease, you have, you know what I mean? You have any, everything, everyone struggles with something. And so I think that I, I like want, I, I know that my life is so perfect in so many other ways that like, if I could just get rid of this other thing, my life would be perfect everywhere. And maybe that's just not, that's just not the thing to, to I, it's just, that's not the way it's going to be. But what's interesting is before all of this happened, I really do think, like, I remember my life being like happy in every way. Like, I, I, I really don't think that I'm a grass is always greener person where I'm just like, you know, the, if I could just have this, it would be better. Like, I remember many times in my life thinking everything is great. Like, I've, I've, I don't know. So I guess I feel like I have had that before and I just want to get to that point. So anyway, I just hope that this video is coming across okay and I'm not trying to complain too much. I just wanted you guys to know like, you know, I am human. I am not always super peppy and happy even though I really, I am that, like that, my per that is my personality. But at the same time, I just wanted you to know that I also have issues too, just like everybody. So I, I hope... I don't even know what I hope. As things progress, you know, maybe I can share an update. I never really vlog. I don't know, a lot of my videos are just kind of like short and to the point, which I do like, um, but you don't really get to know other aspects of my life sometimes. So hopefully at some point, maybe years down the road, because I do not think this journey is like close to being done, but hopefully at some point in my life, I can just get to the point where my mouth is feeling good and n n the rest of my body's not being affected. 
that would be just amazing. And and like sometimes I even think like maybe I do just need to like travel to different parts of the world, not the world, the US, not, I don't need to go like crazy over the world. I mean, the parts of the United States where there's different dentists and doctors, you know, and I think there's a, there's a holistic, I mean, I, I love, I love my holistic dentist and I love my oral surgeon. I love my root canal specialist. I have relationships with all of them, okay? Like, I love them all. I honestly think I have seen, I've seen a lot. I've gotten second opinions, you know? Like, I feel like I have a great, like, team of, of teeth people. Um, but then sometimes I'm like, I don't know. I, I, there's, like, a holistic dentist uh, that really specializes in holistic implants, I, I think, in Connecticut. And I'm like, maybe I should go see him and just, like, really revamp my mouth, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for just listening to me. Maybe I need to do this more often. Maybe not. I don't know. But you guys are awesome. I, 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 I love you guys. Really do. I know this sounds super cheesy, but my YouTube channel through all of this has been my saving grace. My kids and, and my YouTube channel and Josh, like just my immediate family and and my YouTube channel, like it like it's it's like kind of my job and it's work, but my goodness, my goodness has it just brought joy to my life. It really has. So that is like a like it's you guys that like literally choose to click on my videos, that choose to maybe follow me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you like. Like if you like just the fact that you care about me at all or have any any care whatsoever about what I have to say, thank you. Like truly, again, I know a lot of people say this kind of stuff. I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart, thank you. So. I am going to be done now. Thank you for watching this video. It was very odd. Uh, but I will see you guys very soon. Bye.